Hi, I'm Dr. Minish Jain for Cancer Talks. We will be discussing prevention of colorectal cancer today. Now, cancer as we know is preventable. But let's look at what are the specific things when we look at preventing colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer, there are two aspects. One is like, you know, if you re lower down the risk of cancer, you are going to reduce down the chance of cancer and this will reduce down the do prevention. One is screening prevention and one is early diagnosis and treating it early, means not to allow it to start. Colon cancer, as we know, is the third leading cause of death in the world. Risk factors and certain protective factors for this. And if you try to balance this, if you reduce down the risk factors, if you increase the protective factors, then you can reduce down the colorectal cancer risk or prevent it from happening. There are various preventive studies being looked at. So, we are trying to look at whether a particular lifestyle or a urban lifestyle or a rural lifestyle, eating habits like whether you are eating vegetarian, whether you are eating non-vegetarian food, whether you are taking processed food, all these factors or even avoiding things which can lead to cancer. There are certain factors which we already know and avoiding them or taking certain medications to prevent cancer or precancerous lesion going into cancer. These are the various ways which are being studied. So, let us look at each one in more details. So, what is a risk factor? Risk factor is anything which increases your chance of developing cancer. Some risk factors can be avoided like smoking is a risk factor which can be avoided, but certain risk factors cannot be avoided like if you have inherited genes, then it cannot be avoided. So, there are certain modifiable risk factors and some are non-modifiable risk factors. So, what are the modifiable risk factors? Let us look at that first. Cigarette smoking, alcohol, obesity like if you have put on weight and if you are sedentary lifestyle means if you are sitting in one place for a very long time. So, these are modifiable, you can change them. You can stop alcohol, you can stop smoking, you can become lean and you can also become more active. So, these are modifiable, but there are certain things which are non-modifiable means you are increasing age, you cannot stop it. If you have a family history, you cannot change your family. If you have a personal history, if you had a cancer, that also increases your risk. So, that is again not changeable inherited risk like if you have inherited certain genes you cannot change them so there are protective factors what are protective factors which will prevent cancer from happening are like physical activity diet which is better vegetables and fruits if they are more in your diet and if you stay at a healthy weight all these things are protective. Also, if you remove a polyp, like supposing somebody has got a polyps or multiple polyps in the colon and if they are more than a centimeter and you remove them, you also reduce down the risk by doing this. So, you do not allow that polyp to turn into cancer. So, these are the ways of protecting against cancer. There are certain factors which are not clear whether they will prevent cancer or not. We also do not know whether taking calcium will prevent cancer or not. There are certain diets which are still not, we are not very clear about it, but we know overall it helps. There are certain hormone replacements, like if you are not replacing estrogen and progesterone together, then will that help? Only replacing estrogen, that may not help. So, let us look at each factor now, which will increase the risk. Age, if your age is more than 50, then it increases your risk of cancer family history like if brother, sister or parents had colorectal cancer, then your risk will double uh, for colorectal cancer. If you had a previous colorectal cancer and if you have polyps otherwise, 
which are more than 1 cm or you had ovarian cancer or you had inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. These all personal histories will increase your risk of cancer. There are certain inherited genes like if you have genes for FAP or familial adenomatosis polyposis. So, FAP or if you have genes inherited for hereditary non polyposis colon cancer HNPCC or Lynch syndrome. Now, these are also going to increase your risk for colon or colorectal cancer. Factors which decrease your risk for colorectal cancer, one is physical activity. So, if you are doing 40 minutes of exercise, moderate intensity, then you are actually reducing your risk of colorectal cancer. Polyp removal. If you have polyps or if you have history of familial polyps and if they are more than 1 centimeter, you need to remove them to reduce down the risk or you need to be on a careful, watchful way of doing colonoscopies and watching them if they are growing. Diet, if you are taking more of fruits, more of vegetables, it will reduce down your risk of colorectal cancer. So, definitely diet plays a lot of important role and 50 percent of your diet every day or your plate should be vegetables and fruits. And you should try to keep your plate as much colorful as possible and you should eat as much raw food as possible. During chemotherapy, we do restrict raw food that is because of bacterial load, but otherwise uh, natural food is the best form of food. There are a lot of clinical trials being done to, pre to look at this prevention aspect of colorectal cancer. Now, they are done in three types of individuals. One, those who are healthy but have higher risk of developing colorectal cancer. Second, patients who had colorectal cancer but trying to prevent a second cancer in them. And third, in healthy volunteers who do not have any risk. So, these are the three areas where this, these studies, they require large number of people to be recruited to be looked at many years like 10, 20 years of follow up before you come up with a conclusion whether a particular thing helped or not. Like there are some general things which can definitely help you to reduce down overall cancer risk which we have discussed in our previous videos also but I will just to uh, refresh your memories, I am going to highlight them again that risk factors which are known are age which we cannot change, but family history which we cannot change, but use of tobacco products can be changed. Exposure to radiation like there may be some high risk people getting exposed to radiation either uh, x-ray department workers, doctors, radiation department workers. So, these are high risk people or if you are working in a particular area where there is a radiation exposure. So, this can be reduced. If you are getting exposed to viruses and bacteria, certain viruses and bacteria are also known to cause cancer. So, we will go in details of it on some other videos, but then this can be avoided. There are certain genetic changes which are happening to ionizing radiation. So, that can be changed. There are certain protective things which you can do to yourself like physical activity that is exercise, you may stay at healthy weight, you can change your diet plans, you can quit smoking and so many things. So, these are general things which can be done to reduce down the risk of cancer. So, as I said colorectal cancer to a large extent can be prevented. 80 percent of cancers are happening because of our lifestyle. So, let us change them and reduce down this risk wherever possible. Thank you.